It is strikingly beautiful and little known. Most people, when they think of Mongolia, they think of the Gobi Desert. But Mongolia is a land of rivers. Northern Mongolia is beautiful river valleys, pine-covered mountains, and it's perfect habitat for the world's largest species of trout. A trout that can reach over 200 pounds. Mongolia's taimen is classified as one of our planet's megafish. Yet Mongolia has few large rivers. That's one of the things that's so amazing about the taimen is you have a six foot, five or six foot long fish living in a relatively small creek. And the taimen is a fearsome predator. And a five foot taimen will really eat, devour anything it can fit in its mouth. And we've seen a five foot fish eat a three foot fish, a fish so big caused its stomach to explode. But this monster of the shallows has more to fear from humans than vice versa. Today, the taimen, like several other mega fish worldwide, is listed as endangered and only survives in isolated rivers. Like this one in Mongolia, where biologists Zeb Hogan and Brant Allen brave frigid temperatures to study and hopefully rescue the taimen. In these harsh conditions, Hogan and Allen partner with local Mongols to study problems like pollution and dams. I mean, from the perspective of a fish, there's really nothing worse than a dam. These fish may travel up and down the river as much as 60 to 90 miles. Commercial exploitation is another threat. It's a naturally rare species, it's slow growing, and so it's very vulnerable to overexploitation. Time end populations cannot really handle commercial harvests. This Mongolian study is part of the National Geographic Mega Fish Project, working to help save mega fish worldwide. But the threats are daunting. Gold mining is very common in Mongolia. There's placer mining where they're digging up stream beds. Still, these researchers see reasons for hope there. Our project is getting very close to being able to declare that we have a protected area for taimen in Mongolia. The taimen's size makes it harder for it to live alongside humans, but size is an advantage for attracting tourists. Some of the most passionate vocal advocates for protection of species like the taimen are actually the anglers that go out and try to catch them. Even the gods seem to favor the taimen. Buddhism, Mongolia's leading religion, plays a surprising role. So the resurgence of Buddhism that is fairly recent in Mongolia is actually helping to conserve taimen as well because the tenets of Buddhism are very protective of nature and the environment. In order to protect taimen, there needs to be recognition of the uniqueness and importance of the species if the taimen has some areas that are protected from mining, that are protected from fishing, then in those areas populations can thrive. We have a responsibility as humans to, to protect the animals that we share the earth with. And you might think that's a hippie answer, but the fact that some of these megafish species may go extinct in our lifetime after being on earth for tens of millions of years, I think is absolutely ridiculous. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.